one of the hard things for students is deciding what do they want to, to read about or write about. And I always, I'll ask questions and they'll say something about, well, my family has a history of this rare disease. Said, There's your topic. Pick that. That's something others would like to read about because you know about it. It's personal. Or like one girl one year was all upset about the artificial turf. I said, so write about it. I said, you just have to interview both the people that are pro and the people that are con. And she didn't much like it, but she did it. And that one ended up getting published. And she was pretty proud of herself since she wanted to be a journalist anyway. But I try to find things they're interested in, something personal or something they're passionate about. And then we go from there. I tell them I can make up a topic about anything. And so that's how we start. Another thing that we do, that I do with my kids, I, I do a thing called... When we're picking a topic, I might give them a big category. They pick the topic, and they have to find, I call it uh, just the facts. They find three slides. They make three slides of information on their topic. And I don't tell them to give me the credible source, but we've talked about credible sources by then. And then I put the PowerPoint together for the whole class, and we just go through it, and I'm the narrator, and kids will pop in. Well, how do they know that? They don't have a credible source. That's not a credible source, which is an awesome teaching tool, and then the other kids respond back. But it gives them a background on everything that the people are going to write about, and it gives the people that are doing the writing a little bit of positive feedback.